the book of Psalms, book three, Psalms 73 to 89. Psalm 84. To the chief musician upon Gittith, a psalm for the sons of Korah. How amiable are thy tabernacles, O Lord of hosts! My soul longeth, yea, even fainteth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh crieth out for the living God. Yea, the sparrow hath found an house, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. They will be still praising thee, Selah. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are the ways of them. Who, passing through the valley of Baca, make it a well. The rain also filleth the pools. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeareth before God. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Salah. Behold, O God, our shield, and look upon the face of thine anointed. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will be withhold from them that walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusteth in me. Psalm 85, to the chief musician, a psalm for the sons of Korah. Lord, thou hast been favorable unto thy land. Thou hast brought back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquity of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sin. Salah, thou hast taken away all thy wrath. Thou hast turned thyself from the fierceness of thine anger. Turn us, O God, of our salvation, and cause thy anger toward us to cease. Wilt thou be angry with us forever? Wilt thou draw out thine anger to all generations? Wilt thou not receive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Shew us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints, but let them not turn again to folly. Surely his salvation is nigh, then that fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Yea, the Lord shall give that which is good, and our land shall yield her increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set us in the way of his steps. Psalm 86, a prayer of David. So we're back to David somehow. These are all songs of Asaph until just now. Now we're like back to book one and two of Psalms. So this is by David, a prayer. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. O thou, my God, save thy servant that trusteth in me. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. 
Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy, and do all them that call upon me. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. Among the gods there is none like unto thee. O Lord, neither are there any works like unto thy works. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name, for thou art great and doest wondrous things. Thou art God alone. Teach me thy way, O Lord, I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. I will praise thee, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forevermore. For great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. O God, the proud are risen against me, and the assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul, and have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. O oh, turn unto me and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant and save the son of thine handmaid. Shew me a token for good. They which hate me may see it and be ashamed because thou, Lord, hath hope in me and comforted me. Okay, right there we can... Be sure that word hope means help. Because we just had that in 83, that word, it means help. In 83, it was asser, assure, also is joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot. So that would mean Syria is helping all of those uh, sons of Belial over there in Lot. Psalm 87, a psalm or song for the sons of Korah. His foundation is the is in the holy mountains. The Lord loveth the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of thee, O city of God, Salah. I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to them that know me. Behold, Philistia and Tyre with Ethiopia. This man was born there. They say in the son of Korah. Somebody was born in Ethiopia. Well, let's look at our chart. So, Cush is the father of the Ethiopians. Who is born in Ethiopia? Siba, Rama, Hamila, Sapta, Nimrod, Sapteca. And Nimrod is the father of the Chaldeans, of the Babylonians. So I'm not sure. I will make mention of Rahab. I'm gonna have to remember her, but isn't she the, uh, I don't know, she's either a prostitute or is she the woman that hid Jacob in her house from the flax on her roof? I don't know, but I think she, she's related to the line of Jesus for sure. So like maybe it's another Rahab. Because it's it's a a working lady that you always hear there are prostitutes in his line. And I think she's one of them. I don't think she's that lady with the flax on the roof that got blessed after hiding. Um Jacob. Was it Jacob from 
the army, the king, everybody hunt him down. All right, I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to them that know me. Behold, Philistia and Tyre with Ethiopia. This man was born there and of Zion. It shall be said this end, this and that man was born in her. And the highest himself shall establish her. So um, I think they're only foreshadowing Jesus because who else is born in Zion? Who else is born there? These people are all over the place in all kinds of lands, all kinds of names. And Zion is a blessed land. And only people that have been born there are like multitudes, like said Abraham. Um, gonna be like uh, stars in the sky, your offspring. Be like this grains of sand in on by the sea. So yeah, they were born there, but mm, I think it's a foreshadowing. And the highest himself shall establish her. And of Zion it shall be said, This and that man was born in her. The Lord shall count. Could be a foreshadowing. The Lord shall count when, when he writeth up the people that this man was born there. Salah. Like who else are they talking about? Nothing notable. Nope. Not at all. Maybe Solomon. Solomon was born in Jerusalem. We'll look that up, but anybody else that I can think of. That's not saying a whole lot. So, uh, as well as the singers, as the players on instruments shall be there, all my springs are in thee. Psalm 80 is song or psalm for the sons of Korah to the chief musician upon Mahalath, Linoth, Mashiel of Heman, the Ezrahite. O oh, Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thy ear unto my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that hath no strength. Free among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the deeps. Thy wrath heth, oh, thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves, so long. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me. Thou hast made an abomination unto them. Thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. Mine eyes mourneth by reason of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Wilt thou show wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee? Salah. Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the, in the grave? Or thy faithfulness in destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark? And thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? Good question. But... Unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer prevent thee. 
Lord, why castest thou off my soul? Why hidest thou thy face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth. Up, while I suffer thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me. Thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water. They compassed me about together. Lover and friend hast thou put far from me, and mine acquaintance into darkness.